Good morning, everyone. Jeremy here from Flatware Creations. Today, I am going to be making a very simple project from the spoon. I just flattened it out in my press, and it's just a nice, simple pattern. So we're going to make this into a tie clip. Um, and you can use the same thing for a money clip, but I'll show you how to how I differentiate the two. But we're going to turn this into a tie clip. Let's go. So the first thing I do is uh, I found about four inches is the normal um, size for what for the ones I normally make. Let's see if I can find a pen. All well, this will have to do. All right, I'm going to take you down here. So we are in the new shop, but it is nowhere near done. All right, so there's our four inches. We're actually gonna take this one at three and a half inches. Three and three quarter. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that little pattern. Um, you don't wanna go longer than four inches because they end up overlapping way too much. Um, so when I'm talking to you, I gotta be there. Hi, it's the first time setting this camera system up. So we have our mark. Let's go ahead and cut this off. You can make these different sizes, but like I said, you don't wanna normally go past four inches because it gets really long. And if you go too short, you're not going to have enough to wrap around the front and the back and catch the shirt and the tie. So I'll bring it up here a little bit. Always cut with the side that you want on your side. Okay, so Let's get this put away. I still have no idea where everything is gonna go. I'll give a shop tour <laughs> here soon. Um, it has a long ways to go. I have a lot of places to figure out where to put stuff. So it's going to definitely be a work in progress um, for a little bit, but at least I'm able to get you guys right here and do this simple video. So now we have our handle cut. I'm just going to round this off and uh, get rid of this edge here. You can do this with a Dremel tool, with a um, sanding wheel like this. Uh, you can use different grinders. I'm just gonna put it on, oh, I got a ton of silver plate in here. Oh. I'm just going to use my, hey, you can see it from there. Awesome. Um, my one inch belt sander from Harbor Freight. Like I said, this is still a work in progress. Put my glasses on. Let's finish this up. Ugh. Ouch, that's hot. All right, so I'm just gonna finish it up with my Dremel tool here. I just wanna make sure that there's nothing sharp because this is the part that's gonna go underneath the tie. And ties are way too expensive to have to worry about putting holes in them. All right, real quick on the buffing wheel. OK, 
Okay, that got our mark off there for us. Oh. Sorry, everything's probably been blurry. There we go. All right, so everything, this is all set. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna mark out the middle spot. And I brought in a ruler yesterday. Oh, there it is. All right, so this is less than four inches. Sorry guys, um, I'll have more lights set up in the future. So we are at three and three quarter inches. We're gonna put a mark at one and three quarters, is that right? One and a half is three, one and a half and a quarter is a half. So we're gonna do three quarters. It's about two inches. It's right there. Right there, so. <laughs> process of elimination, we're gonna take it down that center line. I'm not good at math. I can make things. I use math a lot, but I always cheat. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this, let me find a, okay. This now goes in our vise here. See if I can cut this off. This is the, the leather that I use. It's about maybe two sixteenths, almost an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, we're gonna put this guy in here. So I like to bend it with, come on, focus. So I like to fold it over with the part that's gonna be in the front. I want that part sticking up and I'm gonna go down to my line. So I'm gonna put my finger right here. I'm just gonna go down till I'm touching and lock it in. So now I'm gonna fold it towards me all the way down. We have our V. I'm gonna take, I normally I use my regular round nose pliers, but this one here is about the same size. This is a graduated plier. Um, there's a link down in the description. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is put this just like this. When I lay this down, it's gonna go flat right to there. So this is gonna be my downside which is also our front. We'll bring you over here. I'm going to take and hammer this using the rubber side of my mallet. And see how it tilted just a little bit off? Now is the time that you want to make that straight. So still keep it in the pliers. Now we've got it nice and straight. Try and get to where you guys can see it. It looks off, but it is straight from my point. So here's the here's where you change things. So if you're wanting to change stuff, turn my focus back on. Okay, so Right now, you have this nice, really tight U. If you hit it right here on this edge, it's going to flatten the whole thing. 
That's normally what I do for money clips. So you get a nice flat surface that you can open up and close with the, with the money. To make a tie clip, I always make it with a little bend here so that it kind of curves up on the end, on the inside end, which makes it easier to slide on and off. So I'm gonna show you how, how I do that. See if I can get down here. Focus, okay. So like I said, if I wanted to make it just a money clip, I'm just gonna hit it right here and that's gonna drop this whole bar down. But we're making a tie clip. So I'm gonna hit it right about here, just outside of my loop. I'm gonna hit it right here. Now you see how it's tightened down? And I've got that little kink right there. Watch this. Now we've got this flaring up a little bit. And I think I'm gonna call it good there. Uh, we can take a couple pieces of fabric. Here, let's just take my, yeah, we'll take this one. So two layers thick. This is just gonna slide right on. Come on, I think it's too thin. There we go. So it just slides right on. That's the top side and that's the bottom side. Now, if this was, oh, wrong way. If this is too tight, you can take a pair of round nose pliers. Like I said, my shop is not really a shop anymore yet, but take a pair of round nose pliers and you can open them back up. By just putting them in the end and basically you're squishing squishing this piece up higher. And if you wanted, you could also do that with the screwdriver, but then you could just open this up and that opens it up wider. If you need it to be closed tighter, you can just hit it right here. You don't want to hit it anymore up here, just back here. See how flat that got that? So again, we're gonna take this and open it back up. And now we've got our space back. Like I said, I normally use my bigger needle nose, or not needle nose, but my regular pliers, round nose pliers. So we're just gonna open that up a little bit more. There we go. There's our tight clip. Nice, simple, easy project. Um, if you wanted to beforehand, you could stamp on these. You can um, do any engraving. I've done some cutouts here, putting little stencils on there and cut them out with the jeweler saw. Um, I think I have one, I did a horse, a full size, not full size, but a uh, whole horse and um, scriptures. I mean, there's a ton of stuff that you can do with this prior to turn it into this. This can be used as a money clip, but like I said, normally money clips I'll make flatter, um, but these will work and pinch. And like I said, a lot of times you can just open them right back up. So some ties are thicker than others, but I hope this helps. Um, and I will see you later. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button. Um, I guess with the new algorithm, 
Uh, the like button is my friend. Uh, and I will try to get more videos out very soon. This one will be out today because it's nice and short. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for joining me. And have a great day. And keep making. If you're new to our channel, please hit subscribe. Also, click the bell and select all so you get all of our updated videos as soon as they come out.